This is Robert Kraft, and I'm your host on SNN Network, and we are at Benchmark's 8th Annual Discovery Conference 2019 in New York City. With me again is Marty Sumacrest from CBDMD. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is YCBD. Marty, welcome to SNN Live. Thank you for having me. It's great to have you on. So for our audience, we'll start off with an overview of the company, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so uh, CBDMD is a nationally recognized CBD brand. Uh, we're one of the fastest growing brands in the United States today. Uh, we are the only New York Stock Exchange listed CBD company in the country. Uh, we sell a full variety of CBD products from ingestibles uh, to topicals and we have a growing uh, animal line which covers dogs and cats and, and horses which is a, uh, an interesting line but uh, that's our brand. So let's get a history of the company. When did it start and how did it evolve to where it's currently at today? Yeah, so the brand started in, uh, went to market in January of 2018, which uh, seems like it was a long time ago, but it was only you know, a little over a year and a half ago. Um, we acquired the brand in uh, December of 2018. Uh, as a listed company, we had to wait until the farm bill was passed. Uh, so we acquired it on the 21st of December. Uh, since then, it's just been a, a real whirlwind of, of, of uh, expansion. Uh, we've gone from 20 employees to over 170. Uh, our product SKUs have increased. We have over 100 SKUs. Uh, we've gone from no retailers to 4,000 different retail points. Um, we are 50-50 uh, online uh, brick and mortar. And um, we do all the manufacturing ourselves of all of our products, except for our gummies. Uh, which we, which are great. If you try our gummies, you'll love our gummies, and uh, and our pet line, which we outsource. Uh, but uh, we do everything out of our headquarters in Charlotte, North Carolina, and um, you know we we're looking at the market right now. We're looking at a big 2020. Uh, we had an incredible growth year in 2019. We went from uh, revenue of eight million of our initial year in business to uh, we'll do 35 million this year. Uh, we look like we'll double that next year at least. So we're very, uh, very excited about it. So what would you say is different and unique about CBMD when compared to your peers out there? There's, there's a number of CBD companies, number of brands all over the place. So what would you say is your main differentiation factor? Yeah, so we look at 2020 and we say to ourselves, it's the, the year of the product, right? Um, the days of uh, you and me launching a CBD brand and, and doing a little bit of sales are over. Um, you know, the competition, such as ourselves, we're, we're one of the biggest brands in the country. Um, and uh, so, so differentiation is important. So you've got to have great products. We have great products. Uh, you have to have a brand. Uh, we think about that. That's it. People ask, well, what's the number one thing we think about? We think about brand. Um, you know, we, we, the Brightfield Group, which is sort of the standard of pores of the, of the CBD industry, cannabis industry, uh, ranked us in a survey they just did as the number one recognized brand in the country. Uh, and we've done all that in, in a, about a year and a half, which is really impressive. We have a great team of people. So um, brand is differentiating. Uh, we also uh, are an affordable price category. Um, we generally keep our prices somewhere between 5 and 20% under uh, where our competitors are. Uh, so we, we have an affordable brand, we have a trusted name, um, we have a recognized name now. Uh, we're New York Stock Exchange listed, so that brings a lot of uh, uh, trust and credibility to not only our customers, but also the retailers that we're adding. Um, and, and on the marketing side, we, uh, we have the biggest list of uh, athletes of any uh, cannabis or CBD company, uh, I think, in the country. Um, we, have, uh, we were the first to get into the golf market with Bubba Watson. Bubba's one of our global ambassadors. Um, we have over 40 other athletes from MMA, Rampage Jackson, uh, who's going to be fighting in uh, Japan here shortly. So we're where he's gearing up, he's trading for that. Um, we've got uh, racing teams, uh, Supercross, uh, surfers, uh, ex-football players, Olympians and Kerry Walsh Jennings and Lolo Jones, uh, and I can go on and on and on. And one thing that all of our athletes um, do for us, besides give us great visibility, uh, is they love our products. 
And, and that's really something that's critical for us because I think the public knows when it's just an endorsement versus I really love the product. So we've created the Team CBDMD uh, sort of club and, uh, and our athletes are excited to be part of it. We have a lot of smaller athletes that generally people don't know their names. They want to be part of Team CBDMD. Uh, and that list continues to grow. On the partnership side, um, we've launched partnerships um, with some pretty big places. Uh, Lifetime uh, Fitness, which is one of the preeminent fitness uh, uh, companies in the country. Uh, we're exclusively with Lifetime. They have two million active members um, and it's a great demographic from us and uh, you know I'm a huge fan of Lifetime. I work out there all the time. Thank God it's close to my house. Um, and, uh, but we, we the, 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 uh, the, the base of, of the membership you know, is actively looking for, for CBD products and, uh, and since we're so heavily into the athletic space and, and uh, we have a great partnership with, uh, with them. Bellator, which is uh, you know, a major MMA uh, group, we're the exclusive uh, CBD brand with them. Uh, Ice Cube uh, and the Big Three, we did that this summer. Um, he was great. That was a great exposure for us. As you know, in the CBD industry, you can't buy television time, but we managed how to get on television by putting our patch next to Adidas on all the jerseys of all the athletes. So that was huge uh, for us. Um, and we just have a ton of great uh, partners that we sponsor with. Um, and uh, that's how we're getting the brand out. That's how we're getting the name out. That's how our sales are you know, sort of exploding right now. And um, so we're very fortunate. And I say we're in a great position uh, as we head into 2020. And, you know, for our audience, I'm sure some people want to know, what, what's your background? I mean, you said you kind of came into this in, uh, in 2018. So what led you to where you're at today? So uh, my background is I've been an entrepreneur my whole life and, uh, and also was involved in, uh, uh, in, the brand, in the brokerage business, in the asset management business. Um, and uh, CBDMD, the, the, the public company, was originally called Level Brands, and it was a portfolio investment that I made. Uh, and I took over the company and took it public in 2017. And we were in the licensing business, and my partner was Kathy Ireland at the time. And uh, we got into the CBD under a licensing business, and that led us to become more involved in the CBD business. And then we kind of, you know, in a, to use a, a poker phrase, we went all in. Uh, last year and acquired um, CBDMD from the founders Scott Kaufman and Karen Dunayer who are uh, Scott's uh, the co-CEO with me in the company and Karen's the president and um, so we've got an incredible team um, their vision on marketing uh, Scott's one of the best operators I've ever seen he's, a, he's an amazing uh, individual and he's been a highly successful you know talk about brand building you know, in 2009, before anybody saw it, it was just like CBD in a lot of ways. The e-cigarette space started, and Scott launched a company you probably heard of called Blue. And he built that company in 36 months, built it into the number one brand in the e-cigarette space uh, in the United States, ahead of Juul or any of these guys. And um, in 37 months, so in, in three years and one month, a big tobacco came calling and they bought him for a big number. So Scott's been through it, he's been through brand building and, and how we're building CBDMD is much uh, the same way as, uh, as Scott built Blue, which is you're in an, in an industry which is new, there's still regulatory clouds, and you have to be able to build your brand in that environment. And so you have to be able to sort of guerrilla market, you have to think outside the box, and uh, and you have to be passionate about it. And, um, and I think that's, our team is that. And um, so that's my background. That's kind of the backstory of the company. And where can our audience go and find more information about CBDMD? Well, you go to our website, cbdmd.com, where you can buy products, you can see everything. We have the corporate information on there as well. And, um, and we, we hope that everybody, all the viewers uh, who are interested in CBD, go buy the product. Um, I don't have a coupon code for you. I, I forgot to bring that, or I could give the audience a coupon code, but um, we'll come back to them on that. Sounds good. 
My name is Robert Kraft and I'm your host on SNN Network and we are at Benchmark's 8th Annual Discovery Conference 2019 in New York City. With me again has been Marty Sumacres from CBDMD, publicly traded company. The symbol is YCBD. Marty, thank you for joining me. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.